Hi Capricorns, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tell Row, where I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Most important messages for the sign of Capricorn. I am hearing high vibration, okay? Most important message for the sign of Capricorn. Beautiful. We have the Emperor card. The Seven of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. That is Taurus, Aries energy. But I feel like you're being called to pull back from something to allow something to grow. Let the beat build. That's what I just heard also. So, the Death card. Right after the Emperor card, there's a change. There's a transformation happening. Right before your eyes, we have the Temperance card. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Heavy, Sedge with the um, Temperance card. So you've been patient, patiently waiting for something. You almost want to fight for something also, something that you're creating maybe. maybe. You've been taking care of yourself, workout regimen or something like that. More messages for Capricorn. What's happening with Capri Capricorn? Capricorn. <laughs> Page of Wands, Energy. Someone's offering. Offering uh, to go out. Let's go out on a date or something like that. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This could be someone who you spent a lot of time with, energy with. Um, someone could be offering you a way to get some type of money or something like that. Let me get some more messages. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. No, wait. Someone trying to offer you something to bring in some type of a big change for you. To create maybe this abundance in your life. The Six of Swords. I feel like you're being called to move forward, to move on, to move. I'm hearing something that your path is being directed. Anyway, so Six of Swords, you're moving on. Page of Swords, watching, watching. Someone's watching you moving on or you're watching someone else move on. Let me get more messages so I can get a bigger picture or clearer. Ten of Wands, you've been working hard. More Sag energy. All right. Scorpio here also, by the way. But that's coming through. More Sag energy. Knight of Wands. In and out energy. Alright, Aries energy with the three of wands. A lot of fire going on with you. Okay? Eight of Pentacles working, manifesting. And let me get one more here. Alright, bringing something to an end. The justice justice balance. Okay, this is nice. Capricorn, something's coming to a healthy end, I feel. Okay, you've done a lot of work. You put in a lot of work, effort for this. And I feel like someone's about to come in with this offer to create some abundance in your life or whatever. I don't know if you... I don't know. Let me see. I was about to say, I don't know if you want to accept it or not. But I, I don't know why I said that. So maybe if it's like contracts involved or something... That's probably what that's about. But let's see. What's the Emperor? Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Whoop. Oop. 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 Yeah. yeah you remember what I just said? I don't know if it's contracts involved or not. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. And then we have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the, at the, bottom of the deck. Of the deck, like I said. Hurt, heartbreak, pain, last deception, someone not being honest and truthful. Maybe about their feelings. Maybe about the work that they've been um, putting in, things that they've been dealing with, the um, four of swords, yeah, healing process, and then more last deception almost. Trying to separate the two. It's trying to separate your heartbreak and pain. Okay, you, you take care of yourself. You take your breaks. You act like you take the time for yourself, but do you really relax? Are you really relaxing? Are you really dealing with the heartbreak and pain that you may have dealt with in the past or from something like that? Because I feel like when you're resting, when you're when you're alone in solitude, things are revealed to you that you may not want to deal with. So you try to separate that energy while you're in this resting and meditative state. But at the same time, what I feel like Source is telling you to do is kind of like Bring balance and harmony between the two so that you can heal from whatever it is that you're trying to avoid and fully push forward. But I feel like that's what you're ready to do. Because you may have acknowledged that was happening. 
Like, why am I lying to myself? You know, that's type of energy. <sighs> Chills. All right, here we go. Let's move on. What's the death card? It's a temperance card. I ain't going to say it again. If you know, you know. But patience, uh, protection, two of swords, indecision, or, yeah, not seeing something clearly, nine of swords. I just said, why well, I'm lying to myself? Why well, act like that, that that didn't happen or something like that? Someone, excuse me, is it, um, realizing some things about oneself, about their lives. Um, lives their lives <laughs> so the Capricorn I feel like you're being called to be patient with yourself while going through this change and transformation because you are being protected while going through this someone is also saying why 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 am I constantly being lied to what's the pe page of wands yeah why am I constantly being lied to someone's feeling like this we have the two of cups fake relationships relationships fake friends fake People who act like they love you, they really don't. Stuff like that. The full card here at the bottom of the deck, a leap of faith. And then we got the six of cups. Or, or, or. You remember I was saying something about someone avoiding the feelings and emotions, how they truly feel? This may be an energy from the past who uh, this person wants you, you want, you want this person. Someone trying to deny maybe a connection that you have with this individual or something like that. Truth. An opportunity holding back. Yeah, that's what I think. The truth is someone wants an opportunity, but they're holding back. Six of Swords. <laughs> I have teaching and learning experience to move on. You move on to go through a teaching and learning experience. The Eight of Swords. Things that you that may have had you in your head self-imposed. Caught up. Figuring a way out. Figuring a way out. Figuring a way out. I'm going to move on from that. I'm going to leave that there. What's the Ten of Wands? Someone's figuring figuring a way out. Um, the Four of Wands energy. Ace of Cups. Oh, okay, there we go. It's a group. It's a group. It's a group of people that you love and care for. You will support them. You feel like they're part a part of your support system. Um, that's the base of your foundation. These people, these individuals, but I feel like they they create the burdens in your life. It's time to love yourself first. Follow your heart because you've been going back and forth about how you feel about the this situation, how you're gonna deal with this and stuff like that. But to a certain extent, it brings you fear and anxiety. I feel, what's the um, king of wands? Not really anxiety, but fear to a certain extent. Because like I said, you don't really want to deal with it. You try to avoid it. You try to look past it. Like, whatever, man. Um, the, high, <laughs> the high priestess. Yeah, you've been told to get away. Get away. Get away. Like, do just do something differently. Like, just take a risk. Get away. I feel like you're ready to get away from the burdens. No, you're ready to get away. Like, I don't want to deal with this no more. I want to get away. All right. Yes, low-key, you've been realizing, you've been dealing with the fact that you feel betrayed. And things have been falling apart. I feel like you might have been in a relationship. And now you realize you just want to be single by yourself. Or this could have somebody. You could have your eye on someone or someone have their eye on you. If someone's ready to get away from a situation that's just burdens i'm like oh my goodness what thing i don't want to deal with this anymore no don't 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 offer me anything because i'm not going to accept it <laughs> what's the three of wands i just said that don't offer me anything because i'm not going to accept it right you don't want it you don't want it the six of pentacles the three of pentacles and nine of swords at the bottom of the deck and the judgment card that's that worry and anxiety that i was uh feeling the three of wands though you turn your back on it you don't want it i don't want what you're offering I'd rather do it by myself. I'd rather be by myself type of energy. I'd rather be by myself type of energy. This, this is you. I, I could do it on my own. I'd rather you not be here with me type of energy. You just making matters worse. I, move, leave it alone. That's how you are. Well, you're tired of worrying about something. You're tired of 
someone tired of giving to two okay this could be a person who have several suitors or something like that you tired of giving to, to two individuals and then acting like you want to build with maybe both of them or one of, i don't know but something is off the connection is off now the two of cups what's the world card the star card renew hope and faith world card closing hold on wait justice Page of Swords, watching or learning, getting a better understanding on how to regain balance, on how to maybe make something right. Aquarius, on top of more fixed energy, Aquarius, towards Scorpio. Um, who else am I missing? Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Big. Why can't Leo? Duh. You hoping for the ending. You don't want to be in this. You've been hoping for this ending. I have to see more about this. What's the temperance card? I'll be back to that. Capricorn. What's the temperance card? Because we have yeah, several majors out here. Judgment card. Now you call it judgment, page of pentacles. This could be your energy with you offering something in the page of pentacles, then a full card in the ten of pentacles. It's the past. Someone's trying to offer something to someone from the past. Maybe a person that you have um, that you've known for a while. Maybe it's someone that you work with. Um, something like that. A person is thinking about offering. Or someone was thinking about offering because the time and energy that was put into this. But I'm thinking someone may be reconsidering. And the hope and faith that you had with a person or, in, or a certain area in your life. You no longer have it. That's why we're closing the cycle on your hope and faith. And something. And you'd rather be by yourself now. This is the energy of someone moved in with a person and realized they can't stand them. Like, I can't stand you. I can't wait till this is over. <laughs> Anyways, what's the um, higher fit? What's the higher fit? The eight of wands, yeah. Communicate. Someone's communicating their love. Someone's in their head about it. Someone's unsure about how they feel, I guess. Someone feels like, why did you tell me you love me and you seem like you only love yourself? Y'all, Capricorn, what is happening out there? But you definitely being called to move on, to push forward, to take some type of action, to speak your truth, make it happen quickly. What's the um, high priestess here? The full card, taking a leap of faith, new beginnings, and this is clarifying the night. Yeah, Sam, do, do you. New beginnings. You ready for a new beginning, Capricorn? Because it's right there for you. It's out here for you. That's why the chapter is closing with the world card. Something is over and done with. Graduated. Let's begin something new. The 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 um hermit card, hermit card, <laughs> ten of swords, and the tower card. Towering out this energy of you feeling backstab betrayed, you feeling you constantly seeing that type of energy or dealing with the type of energy, whatever is going on. You know you're ready for a new beginning this time to let a chapter be closed. Painful cycle. What's the star card? the moon hidden things the queen of pentacles the will of fortune now i'm here you want me for my own you see this is crazy you just want me for my money and this could be a woman or a man to <laughs> y'all know how it goes out there in the world somebody's saying you just want me for my money and i realize that now i've been working on i've been working by myself type of energy whatever is going on this is how you feel you, you maybe you're, you're not receiving reciprocity. Someone probably out there being a bald headed skittle daddle or something like that. Uh, what's the judgment card? What did I get that from? <laughs> oh, you always say stuff like that. What's the <laughs> the judgment card? The hermit. Yeah, you rather not say anything. Where you once wanted to offer, I feel like you 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 may not want to offer anymore. Or someone else. <gasps> I can't make it up. I'm not happy that this is happening. I'm just thinking like, wow, it's like every it's in line to everything that I'm just saying, and with alignment to everything I'm saying. So I still feel like I just said that wrong. Oh my goodness, moving on. I get stuck on stuff like that. That's that Virgo energy. Um, 
Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands energy. You blocking out this energy where something could have been with fulfillment. And then once again, King of Pentacles, you, Gabby, with the Four of Cups, rejection. And you're like, nah, I'd rather do something different. Skirt, 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 you doing something. Look, you realize that something could end up, I, ho I heard the word, the word, what's the word, tumultuous, tumultuous. I think that's what the word is, tumultuous. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to keep it moving. I'm not going to stop the reading and look up the word and stuff. No, I think I just said it right, though, because that's what I just heard. So, it can lead to a, to a um, disaster. <laughs> what is... We're going back up. The Hermit card. What was, was we passed the Hermit card? You making a decision. I could know. I said that already. We're moving on to the full card. What's the full card? The Ace of Cups. The Eight of Swords. You've been in your head about taking this leap of faith and following your heart and doing you. And you being happy with who you are. Because I guess you've been fighting with this Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Causing this heartbreaking pain. Or, or uh, receiving this heartbreaking pain and having to heal from it. Something that you've been avoiding or something. Or once again, I get keep on getting this message about maybe someone's not being truthful about how they feel. Moving on, whatever. What's the moon card? Tower. All these majors. Look at that world card, star card. I'll lift it up for you. World card, star card, moon card, tower card, destruction. But maybe a good destruction, tower moment, and stuff like that. Because the Empress card is at the bottom of the deck, but this is celebration. The Devil card. I don't like that. That's what I don't like. There's that. I don't like. What are you celebrating? Oh, no. This could be your energy, Capricorn. I got to make sure I'm focused. This is your energy, Capricorn. But I don't. Um, hold on. Let me be clear about why I feel this way. You know what? I'm really getting there. People who may have celebrated your downfall, forget them. Forget them. Them energy was like low key toxic anyway. And I feel like it may have been like some toxic feminine energies. What's the hermit card? What's the hermit card? Excuse me. King of Wands. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Controlling your emotions. Taking your time. There is some type of um, competitive energy going on. Bringing in some type of worry. What happened? But you continue to maybe love, care for this person or whatever you had going on because of the way you felt. Regardless of the competition or whatever it was going on. Someone's thinking about continuing to push forward but no longer doing so. We already clarified that. Alright, cool. You're thinking like, Dig, should I continue to move forward or whatever? But I don't think so. I think something is coming to an end. What's the world card? But yeah, there was a lot of arguments. I know what I was see, feeling. There's a lot of arguments about maybe you wanting your happiness or you wanting to just be by yourself. There's someone who needs that time alone to be able to go out do them. This person is a star. This person, like... Like this person is just this person likes the attention or whatever and not really sure about their feelings and emotions i guess they're quite to settle down right now so let's see the um advice for our capricorns no that's not the first card this is definitely the first card we have the four of cups and the five of cups see more separate energy or that nine of cups energy so, that's not what I was talking about earlier. I think, I was talking about the Seven of Swords energy. Seven of Swords energy that ended up separated. Then here we are with the Nine of Cups energy that's ended up, ended up separated. So, the Four of Cups energy. Somebody rejected somebody. I'm going back to this energy of someone not being truthful about how they feel. Wow. Somebody was too busy dealing with, 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 the, with. Bottom feeders, that's what I'm calling them. Bottom feeders. That's the truth. Someone was dealing with bottom feeders, and then that's why a person is sitting here sad. Someone rejected rejected 
maybe the soulmate connection you yeah, here it, it, it's all here the two of cups is in reverse remember we seen that and then we have the two of cups right behind this five of cups what well, is man sitting here crying over this three of cups that just tipped over and then over here on this card the three of cups is right there but this person was too busy looking for an ace of cups something that may have not been there and there was a need to appreciate what a person already had or there was an energy of a person not really loving themselves can I get more on here? Right here as the advice. Nine of Pentacles, know your worth. Things turn around for you, knowing your worth. Walk away when needed. When needed. That's what I feel there. I'm gonna leave that. Most important messages or message for our Capricorn soulmate in reverse. These hoes ain't loyal. I won't put my trust in no hoe. No. <laughs> I swear, if you see him out there horn at that moment, why would you put in your trust in him? I'm just saying. We have or orphan in reverse. Yeah, some, this, something didn't work out. Poise. Be strong, confident as you move forward. Maybe you're over giving to someone. Okay? And it felt unlucky in the situation. Wow, them cards is like... Anyways, um, I've seen a few cards almost in the same way for someone else. Let's read number five. In reverse. So y'all know I ain't lying. Don't chase after what flees from you. Yes, someone else did. We just received this. It might be Pisces. I'm not sure though. Don't chase after what flees from you. Don't obsess over what eludes you. Don't bang your head against the wall. There is a romantic. There is nothing romantic about what's what is unavailable. No, they didn't. Um, no prize given for torturing yourself and nothing to be gained by refusing to see the red flags that have been waving since you've begun your pursuit. Now is the time to walk away. There are other goals, other loves, other games, other successes waiting for you. The way, the way out of obsessing is radical acceptance and surrender. Spirit wants only the best for you. This is a sign that you have something much better waiting for you. Trust. That's dope. <laughs> Let's read number 48. At the bottom of the deck, which is poised. Being ready. See? That's great. Being ready, bringing something to light, being at your best, confidence. You can be assured that you are that you are ready for anything right now. You know what you need to. You know what you need. I'm just making sure that this is worded right because it didn't seem right. Excuse me, Capricorn. You know what you need to. Your skills are sharp. You come to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge and you sense a new phase of your life about to begin people respond to your confidence and trust you this is an auspicious time to begin new things so yeah i'm gonna leave that there that was your reading apple point i hope you all enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated leave a like share all of that good stuff i love you all that love me and i'll see you next time bye